Megan. I'm Rachel. And we're the directors of Jing Advanced Massage and Training. And this episode of Jing TV is dedicated to working with patients that have cancer. Yes. So this is a big question that comes up in all of our advanced classes. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the guidelines of working with people who have cancer? Is it safe is always the first question. So yeah. actually, can you answer that for me? Is it safe? Yes. Yes, is the answer. Mm -hmm. Is it contraindicated? No. Great answer. So both of those things are important to remember. So unfortunately, in a lot of basic classes, basic massage qualifications, cancer is on the long list of contraindicated conditions mm. in which you can't treat. Um, and we suspect, as I'm sure all mm. of you do, that the reason it's on that list is because someone a long, long, long time yeah, ago yeah, yeah. decided that if you massage someone vigorously, like old effleurage kind of style, that you would spread the cancer, right? Mm. That you would make it worse. There is, to this day, no, no research evidence. that indicates that massaging somebody with cancer mm. can make it detrimental to their health, their overall outcome, and in fact, the research shows that good, informed touch, mm. you know, um, which comes from a massage practitioner, actually can help the outcome and the long-term prognosis of somebody living with cancer. Mm. So that's an, a really important thing to know. We can also see that being taking seed, if you like, in what's happening at hospice work now and the Macmillan Trust and many, many different alternative um, thought processes around it. In fact, um, the Christie in Manchester mm. is doing incredible massage work um, around people living with cancer. So we can see it within the NHS framework as well. So know that that's true. Yeah. Um, and I think also realizing that body work encompasses loads of other things and not just Swedish massage yes. as well. So within your toolbox, all of you, though, you will have um, a number of techniques. One of white might which be Swedish massage techniques, mm -hmm. but you might also have like craniosacral therapy, healing techniques, mm -hmm. reflexology. And specific work around an area of pain. So mm. if somebody is dealing with headaches because of their chemotherapy or dealing with overall mm. fatigue, that is something that you want to look at and treat, yeah? yeah? So it's sort of, as always, not treating the pathology, Treat treating the, the person, person. Yeah. Um, but really sort of connecting up with that. The things you want to know about, so the things I would suggest going an oncology massage course, is understanding the cycles of chemotherapy or radiation mm. or if somebody's having an invasive surgery. Those are things to be really aware yeah. of. So you're not going to massage directly on um, a site. You're not going to massage directly on if there's been any kind of surgical intervention within a period of time. I hate to say that's common sense, but it's common sense. Yeah. No massage therapist um, is going to do that. So know that you have it in you, and a lot of the oncology treat trainings mm. are just about giving you the knowledge of how cancer patients are often treated, Absolutely. so you know what's happening mm. within their um, sort of um, treatment package, if you like, and how to work alongside that. And things like, no, you're not going to massage somebody intensely right after they've had chemo. It's going to make them feel more nauseous, but you might want to treat somebody before a chemo session because mm. it'll boost their immune system and also their ownership of the body. And yeah, I think really that's a important. huge thing with yeah. cancer. We, yeah talking about that the other day around so many people living with mm. cancer feeling like they've become like not able to be touched by mm. anyone and particularly as massage therapists want to mm. heal and touch that one of the great things you can give mm. somebody is their body back mm. and knowing it's a beautiful thing and they are doing an incredible thing by mm. building their immune Absolutely. system and making a difference. And I think more than anything these days we have this amazing tool called the internet. Yes. So if you have somebody coming with a particular type of cancer, you know, be really informed, really read up about their condition as you would with a family member or indeed if it was yourself. Mm -hmm. So be really aware of what's going on, what they're facing, what the treatments might be, all of yeah. those kind of things. And, you know, go on a course if you want Absolutely. to or look in your local area and see if there's a nurse um, 
uh, like a nursing or any kind of yeah. medical environment that is dealing with people with cancer mm. and go and talk to them and say would you recommend a massage yes no and find out mm. that information so you can go there feeling really strong and confident about how you can make a lots difference lots of great volunteer opportunities amazing as well for, for working with cancer uh, Tracy Walton is an American author who's written some good books around mm -hmm. massaging cancer um, there's some of the good stuff out there Pete Macareth actually mm -hmm. uh, old colleague and friend of mine uh, we were massage students together That's way amazing. back in the early 90s also doing some good work so read up on it good stuff